Willkommen Norge. That means welcome to Norway. And uh, we thought you'd like to uh, learn a little bit about some of the different uh, aspects of life in Norway. So in this uh, movie, that's what we're going to show you. Should be interesting. It gets pretty cold here, so in some of the houses you can see they put the uh, plants on the roof and that pro provides good insulation in the winter time. You don't see that in New Zealand. This is Namasta, up high. Lots of trees, lots of greenery. And these are the buildings in a typical farm. This is the farmhouse and um, it's painted white. And one of the interesting features of Norway is that they leave their lights on outside all the time. Over there is one of the workers' houses. And here is the big barn. And this is called a... Uh, Stobbul, <laughs> and it's like a uh, pantry or a larder where they store food. And interesting, at the bottom, it has special legs, and that's to stop the mice getting in. So those are your typical farmhouses, and notice that they're all painted in barn red. You'll see that right through Norway. This uh, old storbe or barn or, st or storage area was built in 1800, all made out of uh, timbers that have been um, cut out by hand. Amazing. It's wonderful it's still standing after all these years, isn't it? Shows that they really knew how to build things in the old days. And here we have the Nonestad Community Centre where we had the wonderful reception last time we were here. We're back. And here's something I haven't ever seen before. This is somebody doing the lawns automatically. And so the mower is all pre-programmed to mow the lawns. And when it finished, it's all pre-programmed to go back in the garage and have a little lie down. And here we have the local uh, supermarket Kiwi. Go Kiwi! <laughs> How appropriate to call it a Kiwi supermarket. <laughs> Oslo is the capital of Norway. It's got a population of about 700,000. Biggest city. And the national sport in Norway is skiing and especially cross-country skiing and over there is where it starts and finishes. And here's uh, the end of the ski jump and that's how you get up to the top and really you'd have to be slightly mad to start way up there and ski down. All the way, way up there. There we are, that's the way to do it. You go up to the top in a lift. And this is the view that uh, meets you at the top. It's a long way down. But with wonderful views of Oslo. They can use this all year round because they can create snow, especially for an event. Now here's another specialty of Norway with Stein. And Marit. Apple cake. Apple cake. And um, I think we're going to be very full <laughs> after eating this. Very blessed. Look at that. <laughs> and it is beautiful. And I didn't think I would eat it all, but I'm beginning to think I might. <laughs> that is beautiful. Oops, beautiful. <laughs> Here's another one of these farms, all the different farm buildings, and notice the lights on at the front door. Sometimes they have two or three lights on at, at once. And here's a traditional fence too, the uh, wood going sideways. It's a beautiful 
beautiful day in Oslo and we've come to see the Opera House. We came a couple of years ago, but very briefly. So today we've come to see the Jewel in the Crown of Oslo, their um, Opera House. So let's have a look around. It's shaped like a uh, iceberg. And here you can see its iceberg shape much more clearly. What an impressive building. So, Norway is famous for its mysterious creatures, trolls. Live under bridges and um, chase billy goats. And uh, very high up in the mountains, um, you will find a troll. I think this one's a friendly one though. And one of the special features of Norway is the tunnels. Everywhere you go you find that there are tunnels. And it's especially nice when you're in a corvette going through one of Norway's tunnels. Every now and then the tunnels can fill up with water which is no good. But they need them because they have so many hills and mountains and the tunnels go underneath the mountains otherwise it would take a long long time to get anywhere and they use a much more sensible um, time system than we do that means reserve parking from 7 till 3 not from uh, and so they say from 7 till 15 so the supermarket is open from 8 in the morning till 9 o'clock at night and the in brackets but only till 6 o'clock on Saturdays and nothing on Sundays. And this is the way they do their letterboxes. Makes a lot of sense, easy for the postie. Sometimes they decorate them and you can put uh, notices on as well. Here's a pretty one. Now here's a street sign, and I'll get you to have a go at saying how it should be said. I would say Fugelrud Begravel Sespira. But that's not how it is, is it? Here's how it should be said, you say it. Fugelrud Begravel Sespira. Fugelrud Begravel Sespira. Oh, very good. <laughs> Some of the uh, pronunciation is pretty similar. Physiotherapy and health clinic. Um, Greta is going to show me how to make kringle. Yeah? Called kringle? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Um, which is this yummy looking um, round bun thing. And um, so we've put the, the butter and the yeast and the flour and the sugar together. And it's been sitting in the sun, so now it needs a little bit of um, kneading, and then we'll shape it and um, cook it and eat it. <laughs> a specialty of Norway. It's a specialty of Norway, and when I go home, I'm going to try and make it. <laughs> Let's see how we go. So our kringle is cooked, <laughs> and doesn't it look good? With icing and all this beautiful setup and coffee and then you have to taste it beautiful <gasps> mm. <laughs> mm. taste good Greta yeah. mm. Mm.
and this is where they farm the rockfish, which is a specialty of this area. It, it smells a lot because it's a bit rotten, but it tastes beautiful. Here they're putting the rockfish uh, together for us to buy, and um, we can comment a little bit about what the smell is like here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> good, good. Very good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. one version of it. Oh, it's a it's very right. good meal. Yeah. So effectively, the fish is fermented, and you can get it in different uh, taste grades. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to eating it. So here's the rack fish, and um, it goes with um, beetroot and potato and um, scrambled eggs. And onions, onions and sour cream. sour cream. It isn't cooked because it's been um, effectively uh, fermented. <laughs> fermented and decomposed. Yes. And you've got to get it just right, otherwise, you get very sick. <laughs> and um, it is a real delicacy, isn't it, of um, of Norway? In fact, they have rackfish festivals yes, in November. In November. Yeah. Do you like rackfish? Yes. Oops. Oops. Yes. It's your... Yeah. And then you all roll it up. You roll it up like this, and then you slice it. So here we go for the rackfish. And they say it's an art to even eat it, let alone make it. So here we go. The the beautiful rackfish. They all look yummy. All the mix of flavors is beautiful. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Wasn't I? Didn't need to worry about it at all. <laughs> Not rotten <laughs> fish it's after lovely. all. It's lovely. <laughs> And over in the field over there is an elk and he is running across the field. It's autumn time and the colours are just starting to come. This one's an aspen. Beautiful reds, oranges and look at this for colour. So beautiful. song in Norway for, uh, for the accordion. Nice song. Well our time in Norway is now over and we have had just a wonderful wonderful time. 
This country is really, really special. The beauty of what we have seen has just been stunning at times, and yet it's a little bit similar to New Zealand too. And the people have been warm, and yet they're a little bit similar to New Zealanders as well. We, we, have, we have had fantastic food, fantastic cultural experiences, fantastic interactions with the family, and seen the most amazing things. For me, I would say that um, this visit to Norway it has been one of life's absolute best experiences. Last time we were here two years ago, we saw the tourist sites, but this time we've seen the real Norway. And we've had mixed with that the wonderful family experiences. So, oh Norway, thank you very much for having us. Um, and we would like to have lots of Norwegians from our family coming back to New Zealand too. This, this, this trip has been just uh, overwhelming. It's been really wonderful. Thank you, Norway. Tusen tak. Tusen tak indeed.